This video has been sped up by 25% to save time. Hello again, this is Delta Climber coming to you from Delta Climber Studios, Roblox, and Blue Heater. Here's my little freckle face guy, a level 10, and we're going to rush off into this world and see what we can explore and find. Eventually, we want to teleport to Silent Snowfields. Teleporting to Silent Snowfield is the fourth quest for World 1. So here we are. We're at Sunshine Town, and I think we're just going to go ahead and teleport here. You click on Menu, and you go to Locations, and after you defeat Floor 1 Boss, you get the teleport to Silent Snowfields. Here we are on the Frostbitten Path. You get ready to fight. There's an NPC by the name of Asagari. Our first monsters to fight would be Frost Sprites. Frost Sprites. They don't seem to be that hard, although almost took me out, but I leveled up to an 11 already. I was almost there from the previous. Now I'm looking at my quest. There are 15 ice golems. Reach level 20, defeat the floor 2 boss, and then travel to the Desert of Death. I do not think the Desert of Death is ready yet. Let's look up. Oh, there's a monster here that is a frost golem. So this is what I have got to defeat 15 of. Now, we're going to explore a little bit in this video. I don't know if I'm going to finish all 15 of them because I'm a level, a little level 11 now, and here's he, one of them's about to kill me. So I'm going to heal myself up, and uh, we're going to look around and see what we can see. Holy, he's only halfway down. Got to get something, got to get a couple of levels under my belt and get a bigger sword and better armor. Now I have level 12, finally got one boss golem. More NPCs you can talk to. Let me heal up real quick. But I have like level 12 armor and level 13 sword, or maybe I've got that backwards. There's a giant poison plant. Oh, here's a little bridge, a little ledge to walk around. Here's somebody running for their lives, and he came straight over here. That ice golem did. Well, let me see if I can take care of this one. I wish we could fight while moving like you can on Sword, Sword Burst 2 and World Zero, but you can't. Oh, there's a guy hopping down there, and the ice golem fell down. Heal up here. Wait, there's something underneath there. Huh. We're going to go explore and see what in the world that was underneath these NPCs here. Can I, yep, I can hop over here. A chest! Look at that. Moonlight Knight Armor. Cool. I went into my inventory and cut that out of the video. So we waited around until this chest reopened. And now Beast Plate Armor. That's so cool. I couldn't help but go in inventory again. And now we just get 10 coins. So right there is what I saw. Something underneath there. Can't get to it that way. No, oh, almost, almost fell off. Can't get to it this way. We're going to have to find another way in there. Oh, another chest and 10 more coins. I think it's through giving me armor and stuff. Let me hop on over here. And yes, you can enter this cave area. There's some people already down here grinding. And this looks like some type of water spirit or something. Man, that thing hits hard. Oh, look at that. 48. What is that? A ghost? Got that water spirit thing. Now, here are water sprites. 
The water sprites are not hard, but the water spirit thing, and there's a ghost. The ghost isn't too bad. Moonlight, night, armor again. These guys, you come to silent snowfields and you can come underneath here and get some drops. A big old thing trying to give you a deadly bear hug. <laughs> All right, my goal is to get up to a 12 so I can put on another weapon and then get up to a 13 to put on a, a piece of armor that I have. And we'll see if I can do that in a decent amount of time. Got to watch your health bar. That thing knocks. Or so out of you. Oh, I got a rare gem. Now, I stopped in that store, on the store, in the weapons store. And you can buy stuff that you get as drops. So, I think I'm just going to wait for drops. And then get a good drop. And then go infuse it with these gemstones to try and get buffs on my drops on my sword. Healed up. 48. You get decent gold, almost 50 gold each time for that water spirit and it respawns quickly. This thing respawns really quickly so when I get up a little higher level to where I can take care of these myself, solo this thing, I may come here and camp and see if I can get some levels up. Well, I just died. I was talking and did not focus on my health bar. Uh oh, there we go. This way, there's a ice golem again. I've got that quest. And hopefully I'll be able to solo ice golems and get that 15 ice golems quest out of the way in the next video. But I definitely want to get a 13 and a 12. And a 13. And another common gem. As you level up in this game, you increase your health. Another. This is a rare gem. Got to heal up. Yes, my little dagger is not doing as much damage as I want. It's only doing 13 damage. I've got to get better armor and a better weapon on. And double teamed. Again, the ghost by itself is not that bad. Snost instead of frost, it's a snost. It's a snowy, a frosty ghost, I guess. Here comes the, oh, the water spirit has hopped up there. Let me see if I can drag him back down in the pit and leave him down there. They're all just waiting. Yep. Another common gemstone. Facial Flash does not do much damage, only about nine damage. Come on, 13, it's not that far away. Yeah, I'm hitting 13 and I need a level 13. Nobody else here battling with me, man, that Frosty Ghost, that snowst or snost, whatever you call it. Wow, Glacier Staff. I got to look at that. I got to go in here, heal up. Oh, 
I'll wait. I'll have to wait. I want to go in and look at it. But the Crest for Tyne. I'm sure tired of having to heal up so much. Spatial Flash. It takes care of the little guys, but the big bunny, water spirit thing. It's annoying having to heal up so much. Just another level or two and I'll be able to put on better armor and a better weapon. A scythe and a rare crystal and a ghost. Is this ghost off? All right, let's take a look here. I'm a level 12. That's a level 14 scythe. That's a low level. There's a level 12 great sword. I'm going to equip it. And that should help do a lot more damage. Maybe almost twice as much damage. Yeah, that's a little slower than my dagger. But yes, it is. It gave me some health. And it also is hitting harder. I just need to be able to solo these things. Without having to heal up every few seconds. It's, I was hitting a 13, now I'm hitting a 27. Yeah, I can tear up the little guys and the little ghost, but the big water spirit looks kind of like a, I don't know, a bunny girl, kangaroo girl or something. Maybe one more, maybe one or two more, and I'll be able to put some better armor on, I hope. I took care of the little one that Spatial Flash did. Come on, you can do it. Almost took me out. Oh, level 13. That's great. And now somebody shows up. Oh, that's a bigger guy. He's going down there to clobber it. Solo it. But I'm a level 13 now. And now I want to put on... Get a few more little clobbers here. Put on that better armor. Look here, it's a beast plate. It's a level 13. Beast plate's a level 13. Minus 10 to mana, minus 10 to magic damage, but it gives me health and it gives me um, much more melee damage. So the beast armor and a great sword. Now the ghost is not as bad. All right, I'm going to see if there's another way into this place. We know one way to get in here is to jump off the side of the cliff by the three NPCs. That looks like a dead end. That may be the only way down here. There's some barrels, some boxes. Nope, you can't climb up there. Moonlight Knight Armor. That must be very... It says rare, but... What's down this way? No way! I fell out of world. Well, that's a good way to end this video. One more. That'll make three ice golems. And then when we come back in the next video, 
I'll fry in clobber 12 more ice golems. And we'll finish up that first quest for Silent Fields. Let's see what this looks like. Beast armor and a great sword. And I have a shield also, of course. And all of that, along with heal, helps me survive better here at Silent Snowfields. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, play it straight. Arrivederci! This has been a Delta Glimmer Studio production.